I put together a PR guide to help you with getting more PR and promotion for your next release because I know that this is something that artists really struggle with because they think, oh my gosh, I have to pay, you know, three to $5,000 for a big PR agent because they don't really know how to go about PR. So I thought, why don't I put this guide together? It's called how to get a flood of PR for your next album or EP release. And what it does is it gives you some insights into the mind of the press that you're trying to get in front of. It gives you some ideas in how to get in front of them. And it also gives you a ton of story hooks. So the way that you're really going to get um, press to get excited about featuring you in some way is to find a hook that they're going to be very interested in. And one way to do this is to relate it to things that are happening in the world or happening on the calendar, different holidays, different, um, you know, months that signify certain things like, um, you know, cancer, uh, cancer aware, breast cancer month, or, you know, a, a mental health awareness month or things like that. Um, so there's a lot of like specific days throughout the year, the specific months, and then of course the natural holidays, seasons, things like that. So what this guide does is it really sparks your ideas of how you can relate things that are happening in the world that press need to kind of latch on to, to come up with some stories and relate those to your release, the different songs on your album or EP, and how you can present these as story possibilities to the press. And what the press love is when you make their life easy. So you could even kind of start the story for them and say, here's the angle that I'm thinking of, and this is how my song or release fits into that. And so this is just going to give you, I think it's like over a hundred ideas of how you can do that and create some story hooks around your next release. So definitely go grab that rockyournextrelease.com slash PR dash guide, and it will really spark some ideas in you. So you don't have to spend three to $5,000 on a PR agent, especially if you're just starting out, cause you really won't be able to capitalize on that kind of PR. And you can just bring someone onto your team, whether it's a volunteer or um, someone who's maybe a college student or a high school student to help you do a lot of this outreach and be able to do this on your own and not spend thousands of dollars on PR for your next release. And then this is a system that is repeatable over and over again for your future releases as well.